This time, I'm not going to hold up pictures of victims. I could. There are many, and they are gruesome. Worse are the videos imprinted in our minds that no one should ever have to see. I could hold up pictures of babies lying dead next to their mothers, brothers and sisters, toddlers and infants still in diapers, all lying together dead. Their skin is the ashen blue that is now tragically familiar from chemical weapon scenes. Their eyes are open and lifeless, white foam bubbles from their mouths and noses. Pictures of dead Syrians who are not soldiers, people who are not armed, people who are the very definition of innocent and non-threatening, women and children hiding in basements from a renewed assault by Bashar al-Assad. Families that were hiding underground to escape Assad's conventional bombs and artillery. But the basements that Syrian families thought would shelter them from conventional bombs were the worst place to be when chemical weapons fell from the sky. And Saturday evening, the basements of Douma became their tombs. It's impossible to know for certain how many have died because of access to Duma is cut off by Assad's forces. But dozens are dead that we know of and hundreds are wounded. I could hold up pictures of survivors, children with burning eyes, choking for breath. I could hold up pictures of first responders washing the chemicals off of the victims, putting respirators on the children. First responders walking through room after room of families lying motionless with babies still in the arms of their mothers and fathers. I could show, show pictures of a hospital attacked by the chemical weapons. I could show pictures of hospitals struck by barrel bombs following the chemical attack. Ambulances and rescue vehicles have been repeatedly attacked, maximizing the number of dead civilians. Civil defense centers have been attacked in order to paralyze the medical response, to increase the suffering of the survivors. Who does this? Only a monster does this. Only a monster targets civilians and then ensures that there are no ambulances to transfer the wounded, no hospitals to save their lives, no doctors or medicine to ease their pain. I could hold up pictures of all of this killing and suffering for the council to see. But what would be the point? The monster who was responsible for these attacks has no conscience, not even to be shocked by pictures of dead children. The Russian regime, whose hands are all covered in the blood of Syrian children, cannot be ashamed by pictures of its victims. We've tried that before. We must not overlook Russia and Iran's roles in enabling the Assad regime's murderous destruction.